Welcome back for the continuation of our LTI Spotlight conversation with Martin Leonard of Turnitin. I'm your host, Linda Fang, and I'm with Unicon, a technology consulting firm focused solely on the education ecosystem. In our previous episode, Martin added the LTI Advantage grade passback support to an LTI tool he's building in real time. In this episode, Martin shows us how to use the names and role provisioning service to build a scoreboard for an LTI tool. Let's check in with Martin now. So let's go back to our, our tool and our code. And we're going to start off by going back to our game here. And you can see in here we have some space set out for a scoreboard. But at the moment, there's nothing in that scoreboard. Uh, so we need to populate it somehow. So to populate it, that's going to be done in our JavaScript down here. You see that we've got a, got a method that's not really doing anything here saying get scoreboard. Uh, so we can add a little bit into that method. And we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to call an endpoint and again, pass the uh, launch ID here to this scoreboard endpoint, which is going to return us some information. And then we're going to pass all that information into the refresh scoreboard. And hopefully, we'll have a populated scoreboard uh, with all of the students' uh, game scores of how well they've, they've been playing the game and whether they're any good at it. So. Because we're calling this scoreboard endpoint, uh, we're again going to need to create it. So inside our API folder here, we're just going to create a new file. And we're going to call it scoreboard.php. OK, so now that we have our scoreboard, as we've been doing th throughout all of this, uh, we're going to add our dependencies in, pull in our library, and we're going to fetch our launch data here. So as we checked before that we had the assignments in grade service, we can also check whether we have the ability to use the names and roles provisioning service. So here you can see we're just saying has names and roles provisioning. And what we're also going to do is we're going to check that they have the assignments and grades as well, because we're going to be doing some mashing together of student information and also their scores. So here we have the names and roles provisioning, we have the assignments and grades, and we want to go and fetch the grades that we already have. So like we did before, we can create a line item. So here's my line item your line item object with a score and a max score and what its title is. It was kind of similar to what we did before with its ID. But instead of creating the line item or putting a score onto that line item, we're going to say, I want you to fetch all of the scores off that line item. So again, simple one line to do that. We can say get grades and pass in the score line item. And that gives us all the scores. We want to do the same thing for the times because we want to know how long it took them to play it and just max score time taken. Um, so now that we've pulled all of the results back from the platform, uh, we want to fetch all of the members so that we can combine the two bits of information together. So the names and roles provisioning service is very simple. Um, because all that we have to do to get the roles and the names and all the members on this course is we just say launch, get the names and roles provisioning service, and get all of the members on that. And this will give us a nice array here of all the members on that on our current context uh, that we can iterate through and create a scoreboard out of. So. Let's go and create that scoreboard. Um, I will kind of gloss over some of this because it's just a bit of logic to mash those two bits of information 
together. So we're getting our scores, our comments, and our user IDs, and we're joining them with the names from the names and roles provisioning service so that we now have uh, linked information about the names of the people who have already played the game and what scores they've got. And then we're putting that into a scoreboard. And down at the end, we can simply create a scoreboard. We're going to call this scoreboard all, because this is all the students. And then we'll just output it. And just like that, we have a scores endpoint. So what's that going to look like? Well, if we go back to our game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, here's one I made earlier. This is on a different course. And I can launch in here. And this is going to launch into our game again. And as it loads, you'll see that it'll take a, take a second to fetch them all. But it will fetch, actually. What would help is if in our JavaScript, we told it to fetch the scores when the page loads. So let's add that to the bottom. It's always useful. Otherwise, we won't see them. So here we go. So we fetch the fetch the scores when it when it loads. Uh, let's close that and try again. Okay. So this time it's called the scoreboards endpoint, and then it's fetched all of the members. And you can see that hey, look, I've already got students here that have played the game. Here's what the scores are. You know, the student did particularly well. Uh, let's have a look. This person, they seem to do OK. I can click on load their game. And just like that, I can watch somebody else and see how they played the game and how they got that score. Um, so a fun way that this application is working and that it's doing this is it's actually encoding uh, the key presses of you playing the game, and it saves them as a comment with your score, because you can add comments to scores. Um, and then it reads that comment back and replays everything uh, just as it was when, when the person was actually playing the game. So you can see here that the score at the end of it was uh, 1,650, which was the same as the score uh, of the user playing it. So that is it. We now have all of the LTI Advantage services, as well as um, the core of LTI 1.3. So that's both uh, the core LTI 1.3 launch, deep linking, assignments and grades, and the names and roles provisioning service. And that's it. We've done LTI Advantage. That's great, Please. Martin. And um, yeah, I, I like how it's actually kind of showing the power of, of the ability to uh, display or, or I guess represent a richer uh, outcome in that, in that assignment and grade service. Um, one question that I had was around the, uh, the names and role provisioning service uh, if if you wanted to somehow segregate people by role, maybe the scoreboard has I don't know teachers or something that you wouldn't that aren't really appropriate to show in the scoreboard. You could do that, right? Uh, yes. So all the information that you would have um, from a normal launch uh, of of a user in LTI, you would get that same information through the names and roles provisioning service. So I know the role of everybody there, um, as well as um, you know, any extra metadata about them. If, if we know what their email address is, we will have that. If we know what their first name and last name is. Um, and yeah, so we can, we can build up that and we could separate users on role if we wanted to, or maybe we only want to display students. Um, we only want to action on students because it doesn't really matter about the instructors. Um, or what we could do um, is we could show 
what's coming up in LTI and LTI Advantage and where LTI Advantage is going, um, which is the next thing that we're going to add to this tool. Great, thanks. So what we've seen so far is that we've created an entire LTI Advantage tool from scratch, from a tool that had no integration whatsoever, all the way up to a tool that used the LTI 1.3 core launch. It used deep linking, the assignments and grade service, as well as the names and roles provisioning service. So there's actually a couple more services that um, and extensions that LTI supports that are kind of in the works. Um, they're up and coming, and the idea is, is that with the LTI Advantage services, we can add and extend LTI even more and even easier than it was previously. Um, and we can just, you know, if we have a particular use case that we want to solve, then we can easily do that through new and exciting services through LTI.